Hello, April. Hello, Jennifer. Just waiting for the whole gang to show up. We went a little early just to give everybody some minutes. time to get seated. <laughs> Two minutes is not Get your little. beverages. <laughs> get ready for some painting and some fun. Well, at least some painting. Yeah. Hello, Carol, April, Violetta, Beth, Sherry, April. Chandra, yes, Sherry has made it. Which one did you make, uh, Sherry? Did you make this one? <laughs> this one? Hello, Marie. Hello, Cynthia. Hello, Maria and Helen. Welcome from Georgia. Can it fit in the other one? Hello, Judy. Judy's here. Oh, no, Brian's here. We can get started now. He says. <laughs> Brian, you missed last week. I know he missed the neon, but he did get to see Kaylee's neon. Hit that thumbs up, everybody, as you're coming in. So the five on the screen are what we did last week, and then I'm going to show you two from this past week's videos. Ah, oh, that's wonderful, Judy. I got to play with a baby shepherd. She ain't a baby no more, but she's a year, she old. A year old. You get to play with Gracie. With Gracie. <laughs> Gracie is a great dame that's as big as that one. <laughs> Hello, Thunder. Hello, Kathy. Okay. Do you remember which one we did first? It was one of mine, wasn't it? I don't know. I believe it was this one right here. Your bottle bottom. My part. bottle bottom with Actually, my little it was your stool. Elevated bottle bottom. That's yes. correct. The elevated bottle bottom. Let's I see. like the way the middle dried. A little psychedelic. Or do you have these in the bottom? bottoms? Yep. And then you went with which one? This one or this 34 one? 34 was next. Yep. Hmm? 34. So this was a 16 inch round. Look at the cells in this thing. I love that copper. Whoa, sorry. Beautiful. Sorry. Sorry, Maria. Everybody else. There's a lot of images in that one if you stare at it. Uh oh, we're heart beating. <laughs> run, Ellen, run. <laughs> Hello. So then, what did we do next? I believe we did this one here. This one's very, very dark. So it's got some cool designs in it. And I told you that would dry dark, didn't I? Yeah, it doesn't look as dark on the screen as it does in person, but... I think the varnish will brighten it up, too, though. The varnish or the resin? Varnish. And you missed a spot with paint, too, on the other side. Shh. Right there. You ah. need to touch up. 
How does that happen? Your heart beating. Hurry. <laughs> no, that doesn't make it go away. That's the split, flip, and drag. What do you want to call this? The yin, yin, yin and yang? I call it a split, flip, and drag. <laughs> hey, Carrie. Carrie, did you get I'm your email? Heart beating. I sent you an invoice from last week, but I haven't heard from you. And then this was my last one, which was... Your verse swipe. Yeah. This was the one you missed, Brian. The colors really didn't pop as much as I thought they would. It's okay, Carrie. Don't worry about it. Okay. So then we're going to show the... <clears throat> Up above it, you have that one, and then the um, flip and drag one too. So I'll let you speak to this one. So this was the cloud floor with the 24 karat gold. You're going to heartbeat like crazy on that one. That was on a 20 by 20 canvas, I believe. 18 by 18. 18 by 18. Good morning, Frederica. Oh, it's 3.04 a.m. <laughs> that one came out really cool. And let's see if we got one more. Tammy, I shipped yours already. Did you not get it? I sent it to your work. Is this the one you want to show next? That's tomorrow's video. They can't see that oh. yet. <coughs> this one? Yes, that. Was this today's video? Tammy, that should have came a few days ago. I'll, let me check the tracking on it. And that's the flip and drag that was on video yesterday. And that was with the cloud paint, correct? Yeah, the milk paint. I love it. It really brought some definitions. And I managed to save that gem at the bottom in the middle. In here. The gold circle. This here? No, down at the bottom. Here? The gold circle at the bottom in the middle. That one? Yeah, it's like a gem. It dried beautiful. No cracking, no crazy, nothing. That one's going to be resin, right? Probably. Thank you, Kathy. So, what, what we got going on? Any announcements you want to make? Well, besides your mom being in the hospital, I can't. Well, that, <laughs> unfortunately, that is what it is. Chandra, I have not done it yet. I do have, um, I've done the resin Petri dishes with the alcohol inks, but I haven't done a canvas with alcohol ink yet. And I do want to do some. Um. <laughs> I have tons of alcohol ink that I bought on Jerry's Artorama online when it was on sale really cheap, so I bought every color. So I have tons of it. I just have not played with it yet. You know, I, I watch a lot of these resin artists use it, and they have, like, no fear. <laughs> um, Kaylee's Neon. 
Is that in the bun rack? Or did I already move it to curing? You can't miss it. It's very bright. I think it's, I think it's not a curing. I guess. Over there, it's got to be in here. Brian wants to see it. Okay, get your sunglasses out, Brian. <laughs> it's bright. It is bright. She was such a good little painter, wasn't she? While she was here, it came out really cool. Well, actually, Brian, it's I-E. <laughs> Don't know why they spelled it that way, but I'm so used to writing E-I. Yeah, E-I-O. <coughs> yeah. Um... They did we mail Tammy's package out. Tammy's? Yeah. Tammy's went out like Tuesday. Because remember, I had two packages to go out Tuesday. I picked up at lunchtime. Right. And the clock is ticking. Um, it says it was delivered, Tam, um, July 25th at 10.47 a.m. That would have been Thursday. Yeah. We need to check. And you sent it to her alternate address, right? I sent it to her work, yeah. Loud screeching. We have our AC running down on the other window. I Slipping into the future. Well, the reason I say that the clock is ticking is we're less than 10 months. I know. Was it 292 days today? <laughs> Yeah, we'll be talking about snow and yeah, I cold know. before we get to that day. Yeah. Got to have something to look forward to, right? Yeah, it could have been the bun rack. Sliding the um, shelves in and out. So, it's so nice to have it running way down there so that we can actually leave it running because it's pretty hot here again today. Oh, uh, can you hand me that jug of paint? Yeah, I dumped that. Okay. All right, Toodles. You are all set. Toodles. Toodles. So this weekend we made a little trip south of the border border of north carolina you got to cover that with plastic right yeah. you kind of have to break games <laughs> <laughs> got to spend a day in hi shirley south carolina shirley's here shirley's here hello shirley we how are just, you doing we were just talking about her yesterday weren't we, we? were <laughs>
What did what did you say the studio is at about eighty five percent? Um, I'm farther than eighty five percent. I'm probably about ninety four percent now. Ninety four. Yeah. That's kind of about. Well, I have some things to put away. So it was you, all good, Shirley. What did you do with the... I don't know what you're looking for. The cover and wrap. The press and seal. Yes. This should be right where it's always at, on the resin table. Underneath. No, I'm not. I was not hiding it. It's always been there. I'm hiding it. Um, we went down to Loris to visit my cousin. Um, she's a member of the Paraj Posse now, uh, Victoria folks. And um, we took down an old trunk that we had because she does a lot of Dixie Belle painting, repurposing furniture. She does a beautiful job. So we took an old trunk down for her hubby, but I don't think, I, I hope she's not going to paint it. <laughs> But that and some screens for her shop. And it was just nice to get away. Yeah, it was nice to get away. And I don't know if you guys heard me on my video last week that I had had a pneumonia shot. <laughs> you know, being sick for five weeks was rough, right? So I told the doctor, I said, I think we need a pneumonia shot to protect ourselves from getting sick. So... Alan went first, and of course, I watch his face as he's getting the shot, so I kind of know what to expect. And he, didn't, he didn't flinch. So I thought, okay, I can do this. So I got my shot, and I had a reaction to it in the doctor's office, and I said, is my chest supposed to be getting tight? So they're like, no, maybe you should sit here for 30 minutes. And I'm like, well, we'll see. So then as we were going to check out and schedule our next appointment, I started feeling really weird. And I said to the lady, I'm like, maybe I should wait 30 minutes. And then I said, yeah, I'm just having an anxiety attack. Maybe I'll be fine when I get out of here. And of course I was when I got out of there. So that was Tuesday. Wednesday, my arm was getting pretty sore. And I figured it would be sore for a couple of days. Thursday morning, I woke up. I could not move my arm. I could not move it four inches away from my body. So it just got worse. Thursday was worse. Friday was really bad. Saturday was bad. And I thought I had called the doctor. He called me in a script for pain pills. Um, I think they went too far into the muscle and too high. Because it felt just like when I had bursitis in my shoulder. So, on our trip down to South Carolina, I told my husband, I'm like, maybe if I get in the pool, it will feel better. Well, I couldn't put my bathing suit on because I couldn't lift my arm up high enough. So, anyways, I woke up Sunday morning and my arm was about 96% better. <laughs> It was like I'd never gotten the shot. And then today it feels perfectly fine. So it must have just bruised the muscle or maybe it left it like a gap between the muscle and the bone. And that's why it was hurting. But um, it scared me because I thought I have to tilt canvas and I can't work like this. <laughs> it was rotten. No, Brian, we did no naked swimming. No, no naked swimming. I didn't get in the pool. Okay. Um, Teresa, yes. With resin, you pour it on and you can rub it with your hands or with a trowel. And then with varnish, we use a brush. But this shot didn't make me sick, which was good. <laughs> it's like he handled being sick. But it also protects me from bacterial infections. So I figured that should help with my sinuses too. So um, I would use a goat's hair brush, Teresa. You're feeling better too now. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm feeling much better. 
Yeah, because when I tried to raise my hand, my fingers would, would tingle and go numb. So I thought, oh no, what did they do to me now? <laughs> okay, so. Nate's here. Hello, everyone. Oh, I just want to make an announcement. If anybody is friends with Mylene on Facebook, you probably already know, but she's in the hospital. She's having trouble breathing. So I've been watching um, David's Facebook to see if he's posting any updates so I can let you all know. Diagnosis remains unknown, and that was 20 minutes ago. So they still haven't figured out why she's short of breath. But if everybody who prays could say a little prayer for her tonight, I'd appreciate it. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a gadget we haven't used in a while. For those of you who may or may not be familiar with it, this is a banding wheel. Yeah, you need to um, put some plastic on the bottom of that too okay <laughs> the easiest way to cover these things in plastic yeah without the having grocery to clean. bag on the bottom works great a plastic grocery bag do we have a small one i just threw one away you could put this around it it's all wet never mind Um, that's a real big one. Yeah, even those big ones. Well, it'll work. It'll work. For what you need it for. And dusting it off. Yeah, dusting it off helps too. That tells you how long it's been since we've used it. It's been a while. It has been a while. Actually, I'm going to go around it. I just don't want to clean paint off of it. That's all. Okay. It's protected. But one of the things that I used on the top of the banding wheel is Glad has something called the press and seal. This stuff works great to cover up the base of this without getting any paint on it. So. Make sure I have it down far enough so it spins. Anybody that has been following me and Christina's channel knows I'll probably still get paint on it. Oh, you clean it up. Yeah. <laughs> I make the mess, I clean it up. So. I'm going with a 12 by 12 canvas. Do you want me to take that down for you? Uh, you can spin it. I think we'll be okay. Uh, last time I did one on there. you have little spiders that crawl out. <gasps> he was probably on that banding wheel. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but at least he didn't go across my painting. I think we're going to be okay, huh? I would still take your safe from your side's down because it's, I can't one fly off of it. Let's see if I can scare any more spiders out from over here. No, don't. Brian, you know how I am. I don't like paint on anything. Oh my gosh, Brian. So now I'm getting really anal because I got a label maker for this new uh, thing we have coming up. And when I mixed paint today, I made them really nice labels so you guys can read them in the videos. Yes, that compared to the handwritten horrible writing that comes on them like that. I don't have the prettiest handwriting. Oh my gosh. Yours is worse, so. Carrie, what were you doing? <laughs> Paint on the wall. Shame on you. So I like gadgets. I like motion. <laughs> Leaf blowers. Leaf blowers. Base paints. 
not face paints, base paints. I did not label the label maker. <laughs> you might want to do that. No. She had paint on her glove and grabbed the canvas that was against the wall. Did you clean it up, Carrie? Or did you leave it? Gotta break the room in, right? It's kind of like you when I buy linoleum and you drip paint for the first time. I don't A little paint. part of me dies every time. <laughs> I don't drip paint. Much. As soon as I hear it hit the floor, that blup. No! Yes, there are marks on the floor. But that's the reason we bought the linoleum. She whipped her gloves off really fast and started cleaning it off. Good job. Now, one thing I noticed with this particular canvas. What's that? There's like little dots. I haven't even put anything on it yet, but there's like... You're going to paint, so it doesn't really matter. Well, I don't want these to become embedded. I know, I know. I'm sorry, I'm being anal now. Yeah, so we took the carpet out, put linoleum down underneath here. Alan broke the carpet again way too much. Don't be blaming me. <laughs> You've been putting a lot more paint down than I have. So I'm going with the base paint. Um, Tammy, you could use like a light blue and a uh, like a deep violet and a silver. That would be pretty. Or like an indigo blue, something dark for contrast. Or black. Yeah, the, when Rob did that, yeah, I, that was hilarious. Not for them, because they had to repaint everything, but. Shelly said it's all your fault, Ellen. I'll take the blame. I got big shoulders. Oh, that's wonderful, Shirley. I'd love to do my backyard. Um, are you using base paint? Mm -hmm. That's not right. Oh, it's fresh. That's why. We don't have enough on there anyway. It's running. Awesome, Tam. I prepped your canvas today, Tammy. <laughs> I prepped a lot of canvases today. Well. I was going to go until I ran out of tape on that roll, and I thought, no, I'm done. <laughs> so about 40-some canvases later, I was done. Now, the problem with the bandy wheel being a tape to the canvas. You can spin that paint it's off. A darling. little heavier. I tried to do that. Just remember there's a paint wall behind you. There's behind a what? That. There's a what? A paint, paint wall. wall. And you're awfully close to it. Oh, I've got plenty of room. TikTok, Alan, Shelly says. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. I'm sorry, Shelly. She loves to harass you. You're not going to push her in the pool next year, are you? <laughs> oh, she's got 10 months to behave herself. <laughs> she's just faking. I planted the seed, though, Shell. 
about pushing you in the pool. <laughs> You're right. This base paint is not really moving that much. Yeah, they aren't super thin. <laughs> Uh, Melody, no, I just wiped them off with a little bit of alcohol water mixed together just to take a little bit of that silicone off with the glue sticks to it. So it's it's fine. You don't have to do that whole process. You shouldn't have very much um, silicone on your skin anyway. She was Carol. Kaylee was faster than Alan. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm never going to hear the end of it. No. It was pretty bad when she told you to hurry up. <laughs> I offered for you to go first, so you put the pressure on. There's no pressure. Painting is supposed to be relaxing. When, when you got... People saying tick tock, tick tock. She's just picking. Relax. Are you using diamond glaze, Melody? Um, I hold that cab down for a good 30 seconds before I release my finger. Because if you get a little bit of air under there while the glue is still wet, you're going to get a pocket. <laughs> Thanks, Celia. How was dinner? What'd you make? Color choices. Well, what are you doing? I'm going to do an off-center ring pour. Off-center ring pour. With a spinning you canvas. You need a traveling ring pour? No, She made chicken and rice. You can't. I have can't rice. have rice, so. Ellen is on a low carb diet, thanks to the doctor. <laughs> How many pounds have you lost already? Uh, less than one week. I'm down seven pounds. Yeah, my skin sit for a good month before I glue anything to them. But the good thing is I wasn't really overweight. <laughs> Maria says she's almost done with her bag of Cheetos and there's no color yet. Maria? <laughs> You're going to put yourself in time out here in a minute. Yeah, Alan's A1Cs were up a little high, so he's on a low-carb diet for the next three months to see if he can get his numbers down. I don't think I that big. We did that whole Atkins thing. We've done it a couple times, haven't we? We have. Our problem is, um, don't use that. Our problem is um, not being hungry enough to want to eat and then we get lightheaded. So That's not my problem. It was when we did Atkins. Which color is this? Is that the? That's the, the gold bronze. Yep. That in that half a bottle. There's some in that half a bottle too. This one. Yeah, I used up the whole bottle today. Use that up first. Well, this one's a half a bottle too. Oh, um, the other one must be plain gold then. 
Nate says he loves the minimalist this book. One? You've made a masterpiece already. Yes. Just not the one in the container. Benita, we used to live in Binghamton. That was, what, 15 years ago? No, longer than that. We moved here in 2003, so 16, 16 and a half years. Okay. My color choices. This one is with silicone, right? The black. This is lamp black from Liquitex with silicone. You mean creative inspiration. Creative inspiration, sorry. Liquitex bronze yellow. This one you said is? Gold bronze. Gold bronze, no label. Lucas. This one is? Grumbacher and Artislav Mix, uh, the iridescent Russian blue. And Soho manganese blue. So, my thought process on this. I've seen a lot of ring pours, but what I want to try to do is I want to do a ring pour, and I may need your assistance. No, you should have shook that. First. I should have shook that. Because all your silicone just came out. You act like you never painted tonight, Boo Boo. What's going on? I had a hard day at work. Uh, lady, not that we know of. It's a tough one I got to do for people's jobs. That's what the paycheck's for. <laughs> That's the only reason I keep going back. Is it? The only reason, huh? About the only reason, yep. Well, plus you'd kill me if I was here 24 hours a day. Yeah, you can't be Okay, so I'm going to go with the manganese blue first. Did you spray your cup? I did not. <laughs> that was the first question. The Liquitex. Bronze yellow. Followed by the special mix. Iridescent. So this was the gold browns. From Lucas. And then the black. And then I'm going to do one more series. i probably do two more layers of paper to get enough color. Well, he's on a cholesterol medicine now, so he can eat butter. <laughs> so I had a fish sandwich tonight. Sherry, they kicked you out. That's cool, Monica. with a salad and about a cup of cooked carrots. How many times did you ask Alexa how many calories were in carrots? <laughs> Sometimes she just annoys me. Oh, you love it. You know it. Okay. All right. So here's what I want you to do. What do you want me to do? I'm going to start spinning this. Yeah. I want you to pour it off center. Oh, I'm not going to pour it. I'll spin it for you. You're going to spin it? I'll spin it for you. Okay. 
Grab your clubs. I'll just get one. Spin the cup, too. All right, so which way do you want me to go? This counterclockwise yeah, or clockwise? doesn't matter. Because I'm going to go this way. Okay. You ready? Go ahead. I'm waiting for your paint to get to right. the end of the cup. You had to get that drip in the middle, didn't you? I had to. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. You're welcome, babe. It's what you call teamwork. I did, Tam. I just haven't had time to chat back. So what are you going to do with the middle? Little mini pour? I think that is what is needed to fill in that middle. Yes, I did spray my cup at the time. Don't be me. We got to do it on the first one. Hmm. One more bottle to clean when I'm done. Oh, I've got a pile over there for you. Yeah, I know. I saw the pile. <laughs> and there will be more. Swirl that a little bit, baby. Are you going to ring for it or are you just going to flip it? I'm thinking flip. I love blackberry yogurt. Here's the trick. Easy does it. <laughs> it was such a little cup. Torch it first. Yeah, you have to be so careful not to make mud when you pour like that. I think you should blow that middle over the white and then spin it out. Use your mouth. Your heart beating. Why are we heart beating today? Good question. I shut the autofocus off too. Purposely? Purposely. So we went autofocus and heart beat. So you're saying blow this blue over? Yeah. Over this. Over the white. Uh, now they're talking about coconut yogurt. I like that too. Over the white. I'm trying. These straws are not exactly. Did you get lightheaded? 
No. Well, what are you using the baby straws for? <laughs> Where's the big straw? Right here. That's a baby straw, too. They're all babies. Oh. You want my big one here? No. Yeah, you do? There you go. Use those pipes. I'm going to push it right into that first ring. Airbrush is much easier. No, it's not because you don't have control of the airbrush yet where you're not going to blow those rings apart. Let me give it one more final spin. Torch it one more time. Get my bottles out of the aim of the paint. Really, Mary? They kicked her out three times. He must be doing something tonight. You're not the only one. You need to swipe that out into those rings. Swipe what out? That middle. The yeah, edges. Put that packing tape or packing label stuff there. Yeah. So that white's not going to go in very much. Now, I like the initial rings on the outside. I would bring that over, I think. Would you like some swipey paper? Most of you know, you don't always get what you expect. No. I think what you have in your head never comes out like you want. I'll hand it to you as you, this is shiny spike. So you're saying to... Oh, I do one for you, show you? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Just grab the edge. And then all the cells will come up. Don't go too far though, because you know Roman painting. Just to get rid of the white. You have to wipe I it every time. Get, I didn't get it out though. A swiper. Me neither. I don't like swiping. I like what you got from that part. You, you got it very but. lightly. this way and like just do a little touch just the edge I'm not getting it This 
would be a good one for Nate to embellish because you have some weird thing in the middle there that he could work off of. I don't want to ruin my rings. I know you don't. Swipe inward, use a fork and spin, skewer it. I'm ready to blow up a balloon and just. Well, there you go, you can do that too. Yeah, sure. It does look like a jellyfish. Are you done swiping? I think so. What do you call it? What do I call it? Mm -hmm. Jupiter. This will love I would grab it and get a really hard spin, let that paint go fly in. In the parash? Sure. I don't think it's going to go very far. I need it on a 78 RPM record player. Sorry, sorry, Shirley. <laughs> and if at first you don't succeed, swipe, swipe again. No, I'm not going to swipe it again. The only thing that worries me if you took a balloon to this, Sherry, is you'd get a lot of green from the blue and the yellow bronze. It's kind of would be a muddy green. Mess. Although he does have white underneath, which if you pulled the color off, you would get some white coming up through. I'm letting him wing it. <laughs> Hi, Jane. All right. We'll see what happens with this when it dries. But it was an attempt. Wipe your edges. Just ever have one of those days where the paint doesn't go where your mind wants it to? Yeah, I have those days all the time. What you thought was going to be a cool idea turned out to be a kind of cool idea. That was an idea. It's not horrible. It'll probably dry wonderfully. You're right, Bri. What's that? It's it's nice, but too far from what you had in your head. You're never going to like it. I have a feeling you might as well just put that on the bottom shelf and just let it drip. It's easier to clean it when it's dry. Trips. There's only two. Sure, there's, there's some nice skins in here. You want any of those? No. Okay. 
No, thank you. Who's up next? Sherry? Sherry's up. <laughs> she said she made it. Why don't you show them how it's done? Huh? Uh, what? Why that? don't I show them how it's done? I'm not doing that. Well, not the banding wheel. It's all yours. What you gonna do? I'm not sure yet. Well, I mean, I'm not sure yeah like positive Shirley coffee wants to know would you do something in purples and in yellows no no Monica said I should have started dead center I think you should have done a traveling ring and then spun it out. All right. Shelly wants Christmas colors. You tell Shelly, I'm going to push her in the pool now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only going to allow Shelly to use red and green paint while she's at the retreat. <laughs> Applesauce says, how about black and orange? Because orange is the new black, right? Ach. I've not watched it yet. Ach. Lisa Marie just joined us. She says, shh. She made it. A new puppy sleeping. Oh, I need a new puppy. Shirley's begging, please. Ryan wants to see a Boilermaker. Purples and yellows. Um, Tomorrow you can watch my Boilermaker, Brian, at 2 o'clock. All right, let's do a dirty pour, and I will use purple and yellow, purples and yellow. Fall is coming, brown, red, gold, and yellow. Can anybody believe that the end of this week is going to be August already? No, what's up with that? Where did the summer it's go? It's been a hot summer, though. Jane's asking, are you feeling better? I am. I'm not 100% yet, but I am feeling very close to that. Kathy Prince says ice blue. And Lisa wants to know, is there new episodes on Netflix of Orange? There is. And I have not started binge watching yet. Okay, let's see. Everybody wish er, uh, Shirley an early birthday. It's Thursday, August 1st. Happy birthday, Happy Shirley. Happy birthday, Shirley. Ellen says, it's going to be hot until October there. We could do a nice blue on the side. It's not there. Chandra did a binge watch on it. She watched them all of them in a day. Yeah, I can't do a whole day of Orange is the New Black. I just can't sit that long. Carol Kasky's Unless birthday. I get sick again. August 14th. My goodness, all these birthdays coming up. Okay, so I have a 14 by 18. It's going to be a big one. Teresa, where are you? She said it was 98 there. Ugh. Ugh. Heartbeat again. It stopped, but it did once. It's probably just the autofocus. I'm going to spray my cups. Why do you want to do that? Because I'm doing a dirty pour. Because I remember. Well, why don't I do it? 
Why do you not do anything? Hmm? I don't know. I have so many bottles here that have no labels on them. They're extra paint from something else. Joyce Davidson is August 18th. Ellen Hutchins said it was 97 in Virginia. I don't think it got that high here in North Carolina. Today? Yeah. I didn't even ask. It was 92 when I came home at 5. But New York Cat wants to know, what is that spray? Uh, WD-40 silicone spray in the black can. Just spray your cups and it releases the paint. So we're going to start out with... I think I'm going to start with the ice blue. Patrice is in Texas. That's why it's hot as Hades there. And this is the Grumbacher Permanent Light Blue. I feel like I'm going to sneeze again. What did I eat? Am I allergic to something? What did you eat? You had a fish sandwich. We'll go with the deep violet. Yeah, and I had french fries. <laughs> oh, sure. Rub it in. Hey, there's a lot of foods that you eat that I can't eat because I'm allergic to them. Like what? Ice cream. <laughs> deep violet. In the chat. Their birthday is today. Happy birthday. Color Shift Plum. This is the new Plum Flash. All I can say is it must have been a really, really cold December the year before. Soho Gold. Artist Lock Naples Yellow. I think I'm going to put one more yellow in here. The Indian Yellow. Say hello to Gwellcraft, joining us from Texas. Hello. people from Texas joining us. A little more gold in there. No, I don't run out yet. Oh, no. You know what that means? Another bottle for you Another to clean. Another bottle for me to clean. Okay. Monica Strickland wants to know, do you like pineapple? I love pineapple. We eat pineapple quite often. I'm afraid to go have an allergy test because it's going to be everything they poke me with. Okay. Cecilia wants to know, what do we pay for flash paints in the U.S.? I think they're $349, $399. Too much. That's two. I got two for you, Al. It's a twofer. Tammy Time joining us from Missouri. Hi, Tammy. Julie K from Colorado. Julie. Michael Bianca Bouvier, I believe, is here for the first time doing acrylic dirty pours. Says your work is beautiful. Thank Welcome, you. Michael. All right. You guys saw how many colors I put in there, right? Should be interesting. One tiny swirl.
Let's see what the first cup looks like. Now, if you've been watching me, you know I don't just pour. I just go everywhere. That's really pretty in that corner. I'll pick it up and show it to you because it's really pretty. Love it. Well, Amber, Trish said 72 in Calgary, Alberta. I may not need four cups. I always make up, mix up extra in case I need to place some color somewhere. Okay, let's see. I gotta see something first. I wanna make sure that yellow's coming up through. Good. So is there any secrets to the flash fun as far as getting your bang for your buck? Um, if you put them next to a black or a dark contrasting color, uh, you'll enjoy using them more. But just to stick them in a pour hoping that you'll get something from them. It, you, it's got to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Intended. You want to do it with intention because if you don't, um, if you're just throwing them in there, you're going to lose them. The reason I asked that question is we got a couple of people. Carol, uh, Carol Kosky said Dragon Flash was over $10 on the Amazon for two ounces. Jeez. Yeah, that's a ripoff. And I think Cecilia said she was paying six dollars for two ounces in Canada. Yep, six dollars for a two ounce bottle. Carol says the she's still trying to find the raspberry. There's none at HL or Walmart or Amazon. I think Maria just got the raspberry at Hobby Lobby. Wow, Lisa Marie said she paid $15 for color shift in Australia. <laughs> it's nuts. They're going to, sorry if another company comes out with it because they're going to give them a run for their money. <clears throat> sorry. Ah. It's time to go off the Zyrtec again, now that I got the sinuses cleared out. It's making me cough again. Ellen runs out of Texas, tired of the never-ending heat. I lived in Houston for a year during the heat wave back in 1980, and let me tell you, I was never so happy to go back to New York. Teresa wants to go back to New England. All right, let's torch. Get some new stuff there. Your kid says, I want that one.
bringing up those cells in the blue, what I can find anyway. Mine, 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 mine. Everybody says they want it. They love the colors. This will dry a little darker, of course, because of the purples. But you'll see it next week. Curious is might have to auction this one now. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> we don't auction them when they're wet, right? Because you never know. It may fall flat on its face. <laughs> So, Wellcraft's got a question. It's about your gold. What kind is it? She this said, gold was the Soho Urban Artist Acrylic. But I really love the Craft Smart Gold from Michaels. I love the way it dries. But I And now I love the Deco Art 24 Karat Gold, too, because it's really pretty. Um, this is more gold gold than... Like the Craft Smart is more of an aged gold that I like the way that dries. All right, let me give you a peekaboo. Tons of little cells coming up through the blue. So this will keep changing as it sets. That's one of the reasons that we don't like to even think about selling something while it's in creation stage because it can morph, morph so quick. I know. <laughs> so do you like the racks there? I do love the racks behind us now. It's so much better. Oh, this is so pretty right here. Don't waste that. I'm not. I wish I could pick the whole thing up because this is gorgeous right here, too. Let me start here. So we don't try, we don't like to waste a lot of paint. Um, I make a lot of jewelry, which, by the way, flash sale till Wednesday on my Etsy shop already sold a few pieces yeah i and i didn't get a chance to get the second part of her question maria but she said her gold always disappears is there a secret to that not happening um you want to make sure it's on a black or a white you want to keep it elevated so it doesn't sink to the bottom of your cup so if you're putting it on the white or the black the black and the white are going to set on the bottom your gold will set on top do not put it next to a transparent Chris Fletcher said that piece is gorgeous or stunning. These skins are really pretty too. Candy Prince is just letting everybody know to check Home Depot. They're selling the small bottles, including a special gold pink. Yeah, our Home Depot doesn't carry that. Probably the bigger ones too. Then, Might be by locale too. Monica had a question for you. Have you tried the Chroma Metallics? I have not tried the Chroma Metallics. I did get some Modern Masters at Hobby Lobby. Really pretty sapphire, but boy, that paint really stinks. You can tell it's metals. All right, let's see. Going in. Going after some more skins. How can you not? Look at those. Look at those. They're so pretty. Rhonda says she's been putting photo paper around her pores and sometimes it's prettier than the painting. I know it. That's like this. When I have to clean my knife off. I'm like, no, it's so pretty. Like right here. 
Look at how pretty that is. I know a lot of people put racks down and let their drippings go on the racks. Amber says the leftover paint would have made a beautiful set of coasters. Yeah. Yeah. We had some prep that would have. My talent, guys. Alan. <laughs> you're going to be supplying uh, one more. Some two by two, some four by four, some six by sixes, and some eight by eights. Really? Yeah. He's when? Got, like two cases of each. When? He said he's going to bring them into me to work. So. When did he tell you that? This morning. Okay. I don't know why he didn't bring them this morning. but So I will bake him a cake. It's probably because I gave him so much grief about his staff leaving early the other day. I'm trying to get on my good side. Yeah. Um, I got to find a place to put all these. That's interesting, Cecilia. She said she noticed that Staples now sells Liquitex paints. Yeah, I noticed that too. They also sell the squeeze bottles, guys. If you're looking for squeeze bottles at a decent price. Of course, Staples delivers for free at $50, but. Shonda says uh, she's seen people dip their cabochons into the paint for the ones they can't pick. Yeah, I haven't tried that yet. I just don't like the idea of putting E6000 on paint. No, no kickbacks, Brian. I asked you before I got on his people. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, I just want to say that. Good night, Shirley. Glad to see you. Good night, Shirley. Gwen, uh, or I'm sorry, Gwell Craft says thank you. That is, I'm, that is, I'm sure why mine is always going poof. Her gold is poof be gone. Yeah. It's very disheartening when you. I have some paint left here. Um, you have this idea in your head, and you're like, oh, that gold's going to be so pretty next to that color. And you do your pour, and it's like, where's the gold? Or where's the silver? It's gone. Good night, Kathy. Thank you for joining us. Oh, that's good. Christina, did you see that Michaels is selling silicone oil for $4.99 on their pouring in trap? I have not seen that. I'm sticking with Help, my treadmill. Helpful advice. Yeah, I'm going to stick with my treadmill. Oh, Beth grip the end cap. Not end trap. Oh, let's see. Yeah, nothing small. Correct. I noticed the other day. Where were we? Were we at Mike? One of the Michaels. Somebody's starting to sell orange paints, like pre-mixed. Oh, that was at Hobby Lobby. You saw those? That they have had those out. Joanne's carried them first. Pouring is, uh, paint pouring is exploding. Problem is, when you go to put pieces in an art show, they're not recognizing it as art. They're saying it's crafts. Well, I'm sorry. I think they should come and spend a day with us and learn our chemistry class with us. Good night, Jane. You know? All right, this is the leftover paint. I'm just going to pour it right here in the middle. A little ring pour? A little ring pour. So we don't waste it. Shonda says Walmart's selling kits now, too. Yeah. They're all a little late. Everybody's learned how to mix their own stuff now. And
in the chat says it is art maybe abstract but it is art it is art anything that you create is art so when these people come up to you and they say that's not art any little kid could do it well you know what let's see you try it throw some paint bottles at them some canvas don't throw them though don't tell them how to mix it you know it's like let them be on their own i've had people come here and i'm like you want to do a painting or they're like yeah sure and they grab all these colors and i'm just thinking to myself that's going to be mud because they don't know what they're doing either you know it takes a lot of practice and you know if you don't know color theory or if you don't know your color wheel it's you're just going to get mud. You learn from experience. Like I said in my videos, I always experiment because to me that's an experience. And Lisa said that her cousin is an artist and she said she would find this art form difficult to do. Yep. And she recognizes it as art. Right. It's not as easy as everybody thinks it is. I've been doing this over three years and I'm still learning. And there's always something new coming out, you know, always some new technique. I'm waiting, we're waiting for the next one. That's good news. Cecilia yeah. said she was invited to an art show with her pores. I didn't that's, waste it. That's great news. Got some just drip. Oh. Me. That's okay. I cleaned it up. Yeah, I got it. I don't get dizzy when I bend over anymore. It's gone now. Yeah. And then, good point. There's opaque and transparent and semi-transparent. Yep. And there's shades and hues and tints. And there's, there's so much more. The viscosity is a paint. Teresa says she's got people wanting to buy hers. Absolutely. Yep. We've been selling for how long now? Over three years. Over three years. People are still wanting to buy them. But you know what my best seller is? My yarn pulls. I can't keep them because everybody wants them. As soon as I do an oval or I do a big one, I want to buy that. Okay, boo. Lord help us. Lord, give me strength and wisdom. 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 Color choices. What are you doing? Technique choices. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's do this. Let's let them pick your technique. Okay. And then I will help you with color choices. So there you go, guys. Don't forget he has a toy box. Uh-oh. They all got quiet. No, they're just they're just contemplating. I'm going through carb withdrawal. I think that's what it is. Carb withdrawal. <laughs> Maria wants you to do a dirty pour. Um, Ellen's never seen you do a balloon smash. You did do a balloon smash on a tile, and it came out beautiful. And actually, we sold that tile. <laughs> Brian wants a starburst. You'd have to have a square canvas for that. Close your eyes and pick from the toy box. Oh my god. <laughs> funnel pour. Have you done a funnel pour? Yeah, I did a funnel pour. The problem with my toy box? It's so full. I got three drawers. And he kind of has it sorted. Got two for a balloon smash. Kinda. I can't do that. I don't want to be 
here all night. Shelly said Dutch for <laughs> You know, actually, Shelly, I, I really do want to do one. But we've got we've got an idea for that. Yeah. We just need to stay um, home a week. Carrie, I use Spot On Treadmill, the one I have in my Amazon shop. Yeah, he can't, he can't do a Dutch pour. First of all, I don't have the paint mixed up. And second of all, he has a grand idea that we're going to be doing outside. So We're going to be doing it. Yeah, because I want to do it. I got the owl. Um, I have, Carrie. I've tried the coconut. I've tried the shine. I think it's smooth shine polishing, hair serum, hair polisher, which works pretty good. Um, we've tried the blaster. We've tried this uh, WD-40 silicone spray. Um, what else did we try? There was another oil we tried. Oh, the straight-up dimethicone, the 500. The problem with dimethicone that I found is the pits that it leaves from the cells is just too deep for me. It's, I don't like the pits. You know you got too many toys when you pull one out, you can't get them all back in. <laughs> oh, he has an ashtray. I did this once before. I don't want to use up all your paint spray base. Oh, go ahead, because I'd love to make a fresh one. Would you? Yeah. Yeah, Joyce, we were talking about it. We have to... Um, make room in the shed to put the painting in when we get done so we can dry it out there. I have not tried rain -X. We're staying home this weekend, right? Yeah, I have to clean paintings and varnish. I have 60 paintings to clean and varnish. 60. Because I have, I have like 12 of them are Kaylee's, I think, if not more. How big are we going to Oh, on the Dutch pour bry, probably 24 by 36. Yeah, we don't want to use that big one as much as I would like to. That's good to know, Carrie, because I, I did. I think I have some somewhere. I'd like to give it a go. Just save the jug so I can touch up the sides of the canvas. Don't wash it yet. <laughs> you have a little gun, gun metal in there, or no? Twenty-four by forty-eight. You know, we have that three foot by four foot canvas, but that's not what I'm doing on that. <laughs> it is, know, Maria. We don't know what we're going to do with that, do we? What? That large canvas. Uh, I think I'm going to do some type of Dutch pour on there. Just pour it out. will be here all night. Well, you've got plenty on there. I like these silicone brushes to get paint moved around without making a mess. Too much of a mess. That is so weird, that. Sorry, you guys, for everybody that's having trouble with the picture. What's happening? A lot of them just have the white circle and it's spinning, but they can hear us. And some of have the sound and the text, but no picture. Yes, what kind of puppy?
Okay, color choices. I'm open and for suggestions. Um, I'll give you a Okay, you ready? You got a big blank spot there. Yeah, if you guys are having problems, try refreshing. Go out and come back in. <laughs> Ellen says, to get rid of a bad case of Mondays, just dump your paint and smack the heck out of it. <laughs> I'd love to. I'm going to give them colors, Maria. I told them, pick the background, and then you guys pick the technique, and then, of course, you guys didn't pick the technique, so maybe I should let them pick the colors. There you go. I was thinking, like, peacock pearl and seamus pearl, cobalt metallic blue, the Grumbracher Prussian or permanent light blue, black and white and... Okay, slow down. <laughs> black. White. White. Peacock pearl. Peacock. Should be, it's teal color. Yeah. Are we out of it? Why am I not seeing it? You could use the teal topaz or whatever that is on the bottom shelf, that color. Teal metallic. Yeah, you can use that instead. Teal topaz. No, we can use that. Um, our stock metallic cobalt blue here. Say that again, metallic. Cobalt blue here. Cobalt blue over here. Artist lock metallic cobalt blue right up above your hand. There you go. Grumbacher permanent light blue. There's not a lot in there, but you don't need a lot. That way we can use that one up. Yay. Uh, Soho phthalo green blue. So I'll, I'll tell you what order. Do white first. White first, then. Uh, the topaz, teal or teal topaz, whatever. Then the sea mist. And then the cobalt. Which one after the teal topaz? The you missed. Which we went with the light blue on. There's the sea mist right there. Oh. No, you need the light blue too. After that one's the cobalt. The darker one. Then the permanent light blue, which you have a little bit of, and then black. So I need to put the phthalo green blue back? No, that goes at the end. After the you black? You go black, white, and then that, and then you're done. Okay. You said white. White. Followed by the Deco Art Teal Topaz. Then you said Craftsmart Seamist Pearl. 
Artist Laugh Metallic Cobalt Blue Hue. The Grumbacher Permanent Light Blue. Yes, there is paint on the bottles. Probably my fault. The Soho Thalo Green Blue. Your black will go before that. It'll be black, white, and then that. We're going to put the white in first. Yep. Got a little too much. Just sprayed it. I know, but I got too much. Too much. It would just make smells. You all right. No, no Dutch pours tonight. <laughs> These are all teals. And I got a... I got a buka. Booger. Yeah. I still remember that time Nate pulled the gold one out and how long it was. <laughs> Crestmont Seamus Pearl. Artist Laugh Metallic Cobalt Blue. Hugh. <laughs> the Grumbacher Permanent Light Blue. I need to get a quick drink. Or he has coffee. <clears throat> Better? Cheese yep. don't fall. <laughs> the black. And then after the black, <coughs> you do the white again. Excuse me. And then the um, topaz, teal topaz, no, no the teal phthalo. topaz, teal topaz, and then the phthalo green. Carrie said she's going to need you to dedicate yourself more to that cobalt. <laughs> <laughs> Dedicate that like, one, yeah. But like everybody loves that color. I was stuck on that color for so long. It's just so pretty. I put a little black on top of that because you're gonna go right against the paints, gray. Right? Are you flipping that right? The canvas, Teresa, is Payne's Gray with a little bit of gunmetal metallic mixed in it. You're going to be tilting, boo. You're okay. Yeah. You got a goob goob? A big goob? No, nothing big. A hairy goo. I did 82 snaps today. 82. That's it? Huh? Just 82? That's 82. it? 82. What'd you do the rest of the day? You know how long it took me to file 82 snaps? My fingers are killing me. I like the way that trailed off when you tipped it. <laughs> Yeah, another happy accident. Maybe they'll come out like a squirrel. Like a what? Like a squirrel. I've been painting like a squirrel tonight. Yeah.
think we're going to bring our art, our um, artist spotlight back this in August for the group. We have some new people with new channels that I've been watching. Mm. Love that middle. Just slowly stretch it out, I don't it's pretty. Cause you've got some white under there too. So I do it in a circle or well get yeah, get it your paint all together before you start stretching. I think you're good. that center band. Alan has no fear. When he picks out colors, he has no fear. And I give him looks and roll my eyes, and he still has no fear. <laughs> and hand gestures. And... He used an ashtray, Mary. 97 cent ashtray available from your local Walmart store. In the kitchen gadget aisle. <laughs> Let's take a lot of pain on there. Okay, you can keep stretching. You got your sides, the long sides to go to. Yeah, I like that paint. It's great showing up there, though. I don't want to lose my center too much. But I'm just going to have to go over there. Hi, Deb. Let's bring it back to the center. See, now, Lisa, a butt bucket would be interesting because the paint would come out through the big hole and then through the little indentations. You should try one. I won't even tell you what I was thinking about today uh -oh. as far as a gadget. Probably smack me upside the head. Well, me? Yeah. Why is this not my use? Uh, could be. So tell me now, because now I'm going to no. ask you all night <laughs> Nope. I 
comes at the midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Then she used that on me. No, I'm being so scared all the time. I'm being scared. It's all right, Battle. They can go in the cleaning bucket. He has a tease, isn't he, Beth? Yeah, we're definitely going to have to save that. The paint's great for touch up on the edges. I love what happened through here. Unfortunately, I didn't get that same. The black did not. It seemed like to have tilted to the one side and not gone through this section here. But that's what makes it interesting. Hey, yeah, I just, I just want to take this side here and flip it over on that side. Let me show you what I'm talking about. On my left hand side, the black is much more prominent than on the right hand side, side where the blue seemed to take over a little more. That's pretty, though. It's pretty. Good color choices. Thank you. It's an old palette that I used to use all the time for bottle bottom pours. To the drying rack. And we gotta go down to the bottom. That is level now, right? Yes. You got room for one small painting down there. I can move that big one. Can I pull two skins real quick? Absolutely. Since you did 82 today? Can I say what? Since you... I am going to show them my 82 snaps I did today. <laughs> pieces a couple of colors out this we want to save okay big one that's the best way to get it just don't load it too much because I know sometimes you put too much paint on them I always put too much paint on them. I know don't get paint on the back because then they stick Plenty. Oh my god, they're so thick. What? Maybe too thick. Good night, to get from that. Just one. Just one. I'll take that. You take that. I'll take that. I'll take this. I will clean up. Cleanup is such a breeze with these pads. Put your 
you got some arm cannons to do that. I know. <laughs> you have blue arms. Hey, dear. Dear? Darling? Lisa's got a second golden retriever and he ate his bed today. Oh no. When she went to the shops. An awful lot of metallics missing here. Where did they go? I don't know. It was full earlier. Applesauce says, what if you dipped a goldfish in paint and let it flop around? Oh, that would be cruel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Night, Janine. I want to do a traveling ring. I don't think I want the size canvas, though. Make it a oh, our rescue just heard everybody talking about dogs. Rescues. He so heard. He heard. Did so you he hear that, Eddie. He felt like joining us tonight. Mr. Edward. I'm going to spray my cup up just a little bit. Zally's got a pit bull rescue. I think it thinks part pit. Eddie's got pit and, and Rottweiler and Shepherd and Lab. He's all different kinds of pupper dogs. I still want to know what color this is. Teresa, you got patience of a god then if you like goldens, especially the groom. Oh, yeah. I like when they look like lions. All right, I'm going to do some metallics. Oh, it says purple. Black and white. I already did a purple. Did you use the black with no silicone? No, I did not. Where'd that come from? Somewhere on the shelf. Somewhere over theirs. Okay. I'm going to yep. use Dana, gold. Or Dana is saying Payne's gray. Um, that's probably why that's not there. The gold bronze that I had left over in the bottle. Did you use it all? No. Melody was a dog groomer for almost eight years. Wow. I want to use up this lick grass. That's not a very pretty color, though. It's been sitting since Nate was here in November last year. I mentioned your pit bull. Your pit bull rescue. Eddie's got part pit in him. What do you got? Start dried in the cap. Oh, besides y'all. Okay, so this looks gray when I put it down, but it will dry brass. Diane Gideon is joining us. Welcome, Hi, Diane. Diane. She said her move is done. Yay. Are you back in PA? Yes. Whereabouts, Di? We drive through Pennsylvania on our way to New York. 
Ooh, Rhonda, that is a good question. How do you guys keep inventory of all your paint? <laughs> it's all... You guys know I have OCD, so they're all in color order. <laughs> she says she's in the Allentown area. We don't go near there, do we? Uh, no. That's more towards... Is that more towards... Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, which uh, way? It's, it's on the East Coast. It's oh. around Harrisburg. Oh. North of Philly, yeah, one hour. We drove through there that one time when we took 70. Was it 70? 77. I don't know. It took us 13 hours to get home. We'll never go that way again. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start with some black. And I think I'll go with this brass. And next to that brass, I'm going to do the sterling silver. Maybe. And then I'm going to do... A little bit of white. Rhonda says she seems to buy the same colors and then finds that she has them at home. Oh, I do that sometimes. That's, that's why she was asking. Sometimes, not, not too often. Especially when you're buying the little bottles of metallics, it's common to uh, get home and say, oh crap, I already have that color. Because I buy six at a time. I'm trying to get away from the craft metallics though. It's just not cost effective. What else do we want? Hmm. I'll do a deep bronze metallic here. Maria keeps a spreadsheet for hers. No. Does that surprise you? No, not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Maria is very organized. That's why she does a fabulous job running the group. Then again, you got to remember when you get to be our age, Alan, you kind of have to keep spreadsheets and graphs and charts and to remember things. What is our age? You know, <laughs> the over 50 thing. Maria says, not as organized as you think. Trust me. Okay. A little bit of gold, and then I'm done. Melody says, and lots of notes. Post-it notes. You know, I used to make fun of my mom because she would staple notes on her purse every morning before we'd leave. Guess who does it? <laughs> so what are you doing here? Traveling or a waterfall ring. Waterfall ring. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, traveling. Rhonda agrees. Yeah, the age thing. That's me. Lots of sticky notes. Shelly says she hits 50 in September. No, Brian, I don't staple notes to my purse. No, he forgets everything. What did I tell you when you 
called me at noon. I forgot. Let's see. Actually, I didn't forget. I was just calling you to find out if you had anything to add to the list on the way home, and you were on the phone with your mama. Mama comes first. I'll just put this black here so I have something to run your against. Heart beating bad too. It's all metallics, that's why. to get that white opened up. Well, keep this in mind when you're filming videos with metallics. <laughs> Cameras sometimes Do don't not like, like that shine. They don't play well together. Okay, Kate says if she doesn't write it down, she, it didn't happen. <laughs> I like that. Deb Dana wants to know, do you guys find that monochrome colors are popular? I haven't seen a lot of um, videos with monochrome. <clears throat> I'll tell you, most people that watch YouTube videos for acrylic pouring, are looking for bright colors with unique techniques. They're not looking at flip cups anymore. They're not looking at bottle bottoms. I only know because, you know, what my views get the most of. Everybody's looking for that next big technique. Yep. Something that'll send their channel skyrocketing. But from what I've heard from other YouTube artists, their channels are slowing down as well. So it's summer. People aren't pouring paint because, first of all, weather conditions are not the greatest in the summer for pouring paint because it's too hot. Yeah, she's, she's playing, with the, playing with the monochrome, and that's why she was asking. It looks similar to her tiger zebra she poured. Helen loves it. Brian says leaf blower. <laughs> it's a good thing Brian doesn't live close to us because we'd be doing all kinds of stuff with him. Be like, Brian, come on over. I got this idea. I want to try this. Lisa says she absolutely loves this. This is going to be really pretty when it dries because it's all metallics except for the white and the black. But I'm, I'm going to leave this because I have an idea for this after it dries. If you kind of look at it this way. I know. You can kind of see a tree branch. If it dries this way, I'll be okay. So I kind of have an idea. So remember the new puncher I bought? Right there in that part. Could you um, yes. move that 18 by 18 for me? It's going to have to um, set sideways somewhere. It's dry. It's just got a cure. Ryan says he'll be over, but he's got to stop at Michael's first. <laughs> yeah, Michael's are 70% off today. I got the email. A little late, unless you're going to buy online, isn't it? No, I think it's, it's probably for the rest of the week. I want to pull a few skins, and then I'm going to show you guys all the snaps I made today. Crazy. Oh, 
Any questions, guys? Answer some questions while we're cleaning up here. I think Brian used the wrong buy when he said he was going to go buy Michaels first. He did B U Y. <laughs> Is he buying Michaels? <laughs> Maybe. Remember, um, remember who your friends are, Brian. Hello, Jennifer from Tennessee. Glad you could join us. He said he bought 75 canvases from Jerry's. He might be good for a while. Oh, my gosh. I know he got his 8x20s. Maria wants to know, are you still running your Etsy sale? I am until Wednesday. 30% off jewelry. Everything's already marked down, so you don't have to put a code in. Some pretty pretties in there. Uh, acrylic skin jewelry as well as... My jewel, other jewelry that I make. I want one more. Brian's a card. I don't spill real good sometimes. Yeah, Lisa's, Lisa's in, I believe in uh, Australia, she said there's no Michaels there. I know, I feel bad for y'all that are out of the country because... You miss out on all these fun sales that we have. It makes painting more expensive for you. And Valerie says her closest Michaels is 80 miles away. Ugh. Well, you know, Jerry's warehouse is 20 minutes from my house. We have, what, two, two within an hour of us? Two stores. Right. We get two Hobby Lobbies within an hour of us. Yep. And lots of Michaels in between. Joann's. We don't go to Joann's too often, though. Every time I walk in there, they don't have what I want. Uh, Ellen said she got her necklace and earrings from you today, and she's, she's in love. Oh, the greens. Them. Yes. I got your email right before we went live. I'm glad you like them. And yes, they're prettier in person than they are in the pictures, aren't they? I cannot capture that green. So let me grab those real quick and I'll show you. They're right there. They'll be going a lot of them will be going to Jenny. She sells my snaps in her Etsy shop. So this is what I made today. Let's see if I can get them up there. There's just so many different ones. I have like the green and purple, just different um, colors. And she takes the best pictures for snaps, let me tell you. She goes outside. A lot of copper and turquoise and purples. So these will be going to Jen very soon. Lisa Marie says she used your technique for transferring paint from runoff on the tiles and they turned out great. She just wants to say thank you. Oh, absolutely. Brian's like, show off. <laughs> Not show off. I didn't feel like doing anything else today. <laughs> you know, we all have those days when you want to paint, but yet you don't know what you want to paint. And then you could clean your studio, but you really don't want to. Or I should mix paint today, but you really don't want to. <laughs> so I only mixed what I had to mix today, and that was the white bases and some metallics. And uh, I just thought I better get these done. I have a ton of 16s to do yet. But Beth wants to know, do you make those in 18 millimeter? Those are the, uh, the glass is 18 mil and the snap is 20. So the next ones I do are the, the glass is 16 and the setting is 18. And then, of course, I have the little tiny gingies, but I'm going to find a different way to, to smooth the edges out on those because the file just kills my hand. So. Can I correct? 
question from Teresa Antrim wanting to know how could someone transfer text onto a piece? Um, well, you know, uh, you could use a laser jet printer and use a gel medium. Uh, there's lots of videos on YouTube how to transfer um, laser ink to a canvas. Um, also, you could... When you say Cricut vinyl letters or stencil? Yeah, the, the Cricut. I, um, I know you do. They also have the water slide tattoos that you can print on a printer, on an inkjet, and you can water slide the tattoo on. They're like a decal. Maria says you can also buy vinyl lettering online. Brian says water slide decal. Cool. Yeah, I've just been watching a few videos on that, and it's actually pretty cool. Also, um, you could do that rub-on stuff. Teresa says no cricket. She wants handwriting. Oh, um, handwriting. Yeah, you have to. Um, you could print it out on paper and then, um, what do they do? Chalk the back and then print, you know, uh, trace it out and then paint it in yourself. Uh, my cousin Vic gave me this when I was down in South Carolina. She does this on her furniture. All it is is rub on, you rub it on. It's like, I don't know if you guys remember when we were kids, we used to have those books where you'd have the rubby things and you'd rub them on. So there's really not a lot to it. But you could like cut this flower out and put it on a pour. Um, or even just this outer edge, you know, to, to show a pour. These are the Prima decals. That's the stick that you use. So like you peel it off of the paper part and you set this on and it's sticky. So when you set it, it stays and then you just rub it on to the surface you're working on. Um, if you're going to use something like this, I definitely would use a spray uh, varnish over top of it before you varnish or resin. But I thought these would be gorgeous on uh, MDF rounds or something, and then resin over them. But she, her furniture is just amazing. Um, she's going to start trying to pour with the Dixie Bell paint. And once she starts, uh, that was one of the things I worked with her this weekend when we were down talking to her about it. Once she starts doing that, um, she'll be posting in the group. So, guys. Another question. Uh, Cecilia says, color suggestions to go with hot pink and lime green. Request from a six-year-old. Hot pink Brian. and lime green was my, was my bedroom. It. That was my bedroom growing up. My walls were apple bright green and my bedspreads were big pink flowers. But there was black and white and like a powder pink. And I think it was a really leafy green, like a sap green like this. Monica was asking you too. Uh, where did you get those? I think she's talking These about These are transfers. Um, Prima transfers. You can get them on Amazon. I'm looking to see what... No, they're just Prima. Can't really see it. It's redesign on here. And some of the ones she gets, they're huge. They're like four or five pieces you put together. But they would work so good. And you can also use temporary tattoos. Put them on a painting and leave them on there. Just varnish your resin over them and they'll stay. Lisa's going to share a piece of calligraphy in the group. Awesome. Well, any other questions? I don't think so. I think everybody's everybody's ready. Did I forget anything? To go paint. 
<laughs> Go paint, y'all. <laughs> I'll be painting tomorrow. Kaylee didn't show up tonight. I was going to show her what I bought her. I got her some milk straws. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. Any auctions soon from Deb? Um, I'm thinking probably the third week in August. I think my paintings will be varnished and cured enough by then. But I'm not positive. I will make that announcement sometime next week. I have to see how much I get done this weekend. And I'm also going to be shifting some paintings into the Etsy shop that are going to be very affordable. Um, maybe just a few bucks more than what you'd get them for at auction just to make it easier for people that can't make it to the auction or they don't want to wait for a piece. Thank you, ma'am. Of four. Mom of four. She's wonderful. Thank you so much. So um, keep hitting through the Amazon link, getting your products. Go through our, our link. Uh, you don't have to buy what's just in the shop, but you can enter that way and go into Amazon by clicking on a product and do your search bar there. We'll make a few pennies off your purchases. Um, PayPal donations as usual. When is our next drawing? October 1st, right? Yes. yes, October 1st is our next sponsor giveaway. So we got plenty of time to donate between then and October. Teresa says she is so lost. Where, what are rub on transfers? That's these. Those are actually self sticking. They stick on and then you can rub it and then it peels. When you peel the top part off, the stuff comes, it should be clear. Everything should be on your canvas. But you can buy little tiny flowers, but you get probably like 50 in one of these tubes. Um, this, like this one came with all of these things in it. So it was like, I think she paid 30 or $40 for this. But she does furniture, so she recoups that back really quickly. I only have one thing to say. Go forth and paint. Go forth and paint. And Thank enjoy. You. Thanks so much for watching tonight, guys. We'll see you during the week. I have a video going up tomorrow. And probably not another one until Thursday or Friday. And then, of course, on Sunday. I may mix it up a little bit. But three a week is all I'm going to do. So I get more views on them and watch the videos, share the videos, comment on the videos. I just say share, 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 watch the ads. Every little bit helps to keep our channel going. And um, I think we may have a resin video this week to put up. So stay tuned for that, Mr. Welch. Oh, I have stay it's tuned time to that. get sticky. <laughs> So take care, guys. We will see you all on the next one. Bye now. Good evening.